Let's rock! Good morning everyone, here we are at the Australian Computer Museum in Sydney and today we're going to be looking at a PlayStation 2 game, uh, Freak Out, also known as Stretch Panic, made by Treasure, famous for doing uh, a lot of uh, very innovative shooter type games. <coughs> this one, I don't really know what type of game you call it, it is... Oh, well, it's unique, I think. So let's start a new game. Okay. Got a very long intro, which uh, I think I'll skip. Yeah, something that I don't know if you can really see it through this camera, but uh, we're using a, a, a CRT screen here with a SCART input. Uh, it's the sort of thing you would have used as a monitor for maybe an Atari ST or an Amiga. And it's actually, it's very, uh, very smooth when you see things moving here. Great colours, very sharp looking. Um, <coughs> actually does look a lot better than if you were to look at a PlayStation 2 game on an LCD screen. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Um, yeah, so we're in this very odd kind of, uh, I guess it's sort of, it's like a bit of a, a cross-hatching effect going on. We've got some weird things up here. You can see our main character here, so I can walk her around with the left stick. Now, usually in... Uh, <coughs> Games these days, we would expect that the right stick is going to move the camera, but instead the right stick moves this weird hand, which is uh, described as the scarf. So, if I press L1, the camera will go behind the character, and if I hold it, she sort of strafes around. holding R1, the hand is going to shoot out, and then I let it go, and it grabs onto the nearest thing, um, if I, there we go, <laughs> if I click in the right stick, it does this sort of jump, Not at all apparent what to do here, but I have played this previously, so I know that we have to grab this door and then opens it up. All right, so the annoying crosshatch effect is gone when we're in the levels, which is nice. And yeah, um, you know, <laughs> this is yeah. I, I don't know. We've got some ladies here. Having a trouble seeing. And I can do that to them. I guess that's. Let's see if we can get a bigger. Oh, now, oh, okay. She's. <laughs> she's. <laughs> and she's gone. Oh, and I got one point. Okay, now, so I. I think I need to go around and just grab a bunch of these things until they uh, get enough points to get to the next level. Oh, oh, look, I can stretch ahead. So I guess this was a bit of a maybe a tech demo or something you'd call it, you know, to show the capabilities of stretching these polygons. They're not, I was going to say texture, but they're not, they're really shaded, aren't they? Another point. Do I only need one point? Oh! 
Okay. Um, right. Oh, my, my little eyeball is closed. What's that? Things I got into? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, maybe I only need to get one. So I'm not getting any more points, am I? Let's see if we can get back to that door there. Okay, I'll dump myself up, yeah, and then I'm going to try and get that door. <coughs> maybe, maybe I can get something. So I think now that I've got one of those things that then now I can go to another level. There's one on it, so maybe if I have one. Okay, great. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so there's some kind of plot where her sisters have been possessed by these demons. <coughs> and then I've Gotta go through a bunch of weird boss battles to pull the demons out of them. <clears throat> yeah, take that. I, oh, oh, 99 health. Little things. I think I'm supposed to. Ah, whoa! I think I'm supposed to do something with these guys. Oh, 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 oh! Wait! Ah, ah, quick! No, I gotta grab the mouth. The, the tongue thing. You, you, ah, What am I doing? to grab that thing in the mouth. Oh, oh I got it. Okay, well, that's not good. Uh, okay. Oh, oh wait. Oh, my, oh, that star, I think it's my health.
let's go back to the hub world and see if something's changed. Oh, all right, so this did say one on that door, now it says zero, so I guess that means I've cleared it. So I, I think I can just do these in any order. Oh, okay, that cost me one point to go in, so I guess I've got to go back to the bikini ladies to get more points. Hello things. Oh, and then I, I can throw them at her. Ah, oh. Yellow things. What am I supposed to do? I really probably should read the instructions. <clears throat> okay. This star is going red, so I think that, that means I'm winning. Oh, now my star's going red. Great. Grab these things and then and then what? Then I throw them. So, like I said, I do remember playing this uh, probably about 20 years ago and figuring out what to do, but I think I've forgotten what to do. So, um, yeah, look, I, I guess I'll, uh, I'll keep on cracking at this and maybe I'll come back to it later when I have a bit more of a clue what's going on. So, yeah, this is Freak Out. You can come in and play this uh, at the computer museum or with any of our other games. Uh, 
know, micros that we've got here, all the computers. So yeah, thank you for watching.